So I think, I think the, the most important key issue is it's so important to the public what they do with their savings and to the extent they come to the wealth management industry then, then the fact they get look, well looked after is completely, completely important. And then being, if, you, if you get specific, uh, obviously the impact of RDR uh, and how that affects wealth managers, we need to see it settle down. But I'm confident that we've done the right thing, as I, as I said in my remarks earlier. Uh, secondly, I think the, uh, the on, ongoing debate around suitability and when is advice advice and when is it not is something we need to continue to talk to the industry uh, to the industry too. I mean, we're, we're obsessed clearly with the uh, customer outcome uh, and therefore we're very, very keen on the suitability uh, criteria. But on the other hand, we recognize that uh, everybody needs to be able to get as much advice as is appropriate to their circumstances. Okay. To give the uh, WMA uh, its due, they've been uh, very uh, voluble <laughs> Uh, and indeed constructive in their relationship with the FCA and discussing with us both the issues in Europe and the, the, the things that are important to their members. Sometimes we agree, sometimes we're, we don't agree, but, but the relationship is open, uh, constructive uh, and uh, definitely they have an impact on, uh, on our attitude to the industry. Well, I think there's a need for an association. Uh, I'm a great uh, believer in competition, so exactly which form of wealth management model uh, wins out, I think, is for the market to decide rather than the regulator. But whichever way it goes, uh, I would see the need for a, an association to represent their collective interests.